What's going on, YouTube family? Oh my God, I am so excited to be here. I have been looking forward to this day for a very, very long time. Today is a very special day because it is our very first reaction video to a brand new YouTube channel. As you could tell, you have not seen me on the YouTube platform before, but I'm finally here and I'm ready to get into these reaction videos. I wanna say thank you to everybody that is joining me today, especially for those of you that are subscribing. You guys are really the bread and butter, the building blocks and the foundation to this YouTube channel. And how we're gonna do this video is after like two or three videos, I am going to pull a conspiracy trivia question for you and give you like a multiple choice and you guys can um, get the answer by the end of the video. Some of these questions are super interesting. I've actually never heard of some of them before as well. So I'm really excited about that. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Something really weird just happened to us and I want your opinion it on it. It freaked me out. It freaked her out. But tell me what you think. Lid and me came to Aldi after I got my lashes done. And um, this may have been nothing, but it felt weird to me. And I hope I wasn't being a butthole to the lady because I wasn't trying to be. So she was standing near her car and she saw Lid and me walking inside and you know we were putting the stupid little quarter in the buggy i don't i don't like that idea do you know how many people probably leave because they don't have a quarter and they're like we can't shop there anyway that's another tiktok i was scared because she wanted me to get under the car and crawl up under there and get her key and she told me she said excuse me miss can you come help me um and i went over there and i kept my distance and i told Lid, i said do not move you stay right here do not move. And I went over there and I kept my distance. I was about 10 feet from her. And she said, I dropped my key up under my car, under the pavement of the car. She said, can you bend down and reach up under my car and get my key? She was like, I can't do it. My knee hurts. I was in a safe space. I was, I was next to the car. Where do I start? Where do I begin? This video is not even over. Um, Let's let's finish the video. Let's finish the video. My uh, uh, my mama's. Uh, I could easily get in there and lock doors. So I looked in the car and it was piled up with suitcases, and I'm like, that's weird. And I said, Are you on vacation? Okay. I said, what you doing? You know, just trying to make a little conversation to gauge the to gauge you know to gauge what's going on. You know. My mama was like, no, she's staying right there. She's gonna stay right there by the door. And uh, she got mad at my mama. How are you going to get mad at my mama? Because I won't do something. I mean, if we're helping, we're helping. It shouldn't matter who, how we get it, as long as we get it done, right? She was like, I just got done by my groceries. And she was like, I just need to get my key. It's under the car. Can you get on the ground, slide up under the car, and get my key? And I was like, no. I said, I can't do it. I said, but, I said, I will go in here and get an associate and see if they have something where we can pull your key out. I was, so I'm not on the ground with my back facing up with no way to see what's going on. So then she was like, never mind, I'll just get it myself. And I was like, okay, about that time a car pulled in front of her car. Okay, so she's parked this way and a car pulled right in front of her car. Like she wasn't gonna be able to back to pull forward with that car there. And he just kind of looked over at her. It was another guy and another lady. And I looked at her, I said, do you know them? I said, he looked at you. I said, do you know them? She was like, uh, I don't know, I might. I said, okay, I said, if you know him, then you need to ask him to get this key. So he got out of the car and he just kind of looked at her and they were just about there standing at each other. And I said, her key is stuck up under that car. She needs you to slide up under there and get it. And he was like, oh, okay, no problem, no problem. He went up there and he got her key. They talked for a few minutes and then they both left. It made me feel weird, but I hope I wasn't being a, 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 an ass to her, but I just didn't feel right. You know what I'm saying? With with Lid, initially she wanted Lid to do it. She wanted Lid to. She was like, she's little. She can slide up under the car easily. And I was like, no, ma'am. I said, no, ma'am. She's going to stay right over there. If you need help, I will try to help you. But she's, no. So I don't know. I don't know. It may have been nothing. It may have all been a coincidence, whatever. But it's sad that the world we live in, we have to actually think about mm -hmm. our every next calculated step because there are just so many people in this world we don't trust. But I was not gonna lay up on that ground on my stomach, go up onto her car and my whole head and back and everything be exposed. But no, uh-uh, I, I ain't doing it, I'm sorry. We can figure out another plan to get you help and I'll help you find the other help, but we're not, we're not gonna leave me vulnerable in a crazy situation. And now I just keep thinking about it now and I'm like, dang, I live right off the interstate. I don't know, it was just, it, I just, I didn't have a good feeling about it, okay? And it was just, it, it may have been a coincidence that they knew each other and he pulled up and he did that, but it just, just, it just didn't feel right. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. That was a crazy one. 
yeah, there has been too many instances where things like that happening to people that I actually know. Um, I remember this girl out here was just hanging out with her kids playing outside and somebody pulled up in a car and just tried to snatch the kid and she literally had to fight them off. Another thing that they were doing out here and I'm sure everywhere is um, acting like they were selling perfumes outside or giving you samples of perfumes outside. And then as soon as you smell it, you would like pass out and it will snatch you up. Definitely stay safe and be careful. Talk to your kids about all that. And yeah, let's continue. Pay attention. This was about a year or two ago at the Panther Stadium. Just pay attention to how advanced AR technology is. Do y'all see this? This even on the Carolina's Panthers website. Carolina unveils mixed reality Panther before the game. And then you know they got stuff like this too that's going on. I don't know what that is, but that's something in the sky right there. Over here, home. That shit like very entertaining how like y'all can make shit seem like it is, but it's not there. I'm just saying y'all go put two and two together. Go look at the project Bluebeam. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comments. Follow me for more wisdom. Hit that plus button and stay tuned. Program. He always has some good videos. But um, I know what Project Bluebeam is. But I haven't really got too deep into that rabbit hole. If y'all have any links in regards to that or any good sources, definitely let me know down in the comments because I want to learn some more about that. I've been saying that I'm going to look into it a little bit more with the details, but I have not yet. Now, in regards to this video, is this something that you would just see as a person watching TV while you're watching the game? Or are they saying that the people in the stadium are seeing that same thing? I would have to see it to believe it. Like, there's no way that I'm believing right now that I'm seeing this big old panther or whatever that was jumping around the stadium. Like, how would they even do that? Now, I have seen some other videos that look just like that. And people are looking like they're looking at this thing in the sky or on the buildings. But it's just so hard for me to believe that it could really look like that without seeing it in person. Let me know what y'all think about that one. I think that Halloween was all about trick-or-treating, getting candy fucking parties i had some of my best moments on halloween you know what i'm saying hundred houses turning up that's what we think that's what we think that that's what we always thought that halloween was about when in reality this is when they do rituals with kids y'all more kids is coming up missing right in front of y'all face last month i got an article i had got an article this article somebody sent it to me in my emails so many kids had came up missing listen these demons they in human form they get their energy from y'all. You, you got to understand. They can't go anywhere outside of this matrix. This is it for them. They feed off your children. They feed off your energy. These motherfuckers is desperate for kids right now. I, I Listen, I'm not making this shit up. I know this shit coming from intuition. I have never seen two trucks circle around a kid's park. Look, bro, these be kids' parks, play skates and shit, bro. Two trucks with grown men in them circling this park. But who are they looking for? If I wasn't there, I feel like they would have snatched up some of them kids that was over there. And what y'all got to understand around Halloween, Halloween, our parents drop us off to these rich ass neighborhoods and then they leave us. And then we just go and trick or treating around these neighborhoods. And then we call them when we're ready to go. Get as much candy as you can. Right, bro. I'm t Bro, watch these kids out here because these niggas is looking for blood. Wow. We see it happening on a daily basis. We see it, I wouldn't say more so in the news, but we know what's going on, right? I mean, if you don't really know what's going on, you've heard about it. You've heard people talking about it. But it just, it happens so high key, but at the same, so low key, that all we know is that there's people missing. We don't know how it happened. We don't know when it happened. We don't know what's going on. We don't know who did it. And it seems like everybody else wants to cover it up. I mean, I know like we always get the news in regards to what's going on in the statistics. But what we never get is what happens after that. We never get the final outcome 
of what happened to these people how did they get punished like, why are y'all connecting this to just this one person well we know there's a whole ring behind this and you obviously got to get you know you got to get the rest of them so it's almost like they're giving us the runaround, you know, for media purposes, for the news to say, oh, we caught him and everything is going to be OK now. They really do a good job making us think that it's been taken care of, you know. Listen. To overcome recruiting shortfalls. They've ramped up their marketing, including on social media, to entice legal immigrants to enlist. They're also using recruiters with similar backgrounds to appeal to potential recruits. But the biggest draw for migrants is the promise of a fast track to citizenship plus jobs and education benefits. Both the Army and the Air Force have said they will not meet their recruiting goals this year. So was this the plan all along? I'm just saying! Was this the plan all along? On why they let all these fighting age men immigrants come over here? In America, because we know nothing ever happens just for no reason, you know. Now they're starting to recruit the immigrants into the Navy and the fucking army. Y'all just heard that shit. Now that makes sense. I'm just, I'm just saying that is the most logical reason, me personally, the most logical reason that I could think of on why. Out of all these years, we just now, out of all the time, hey, yeah, let's let all these immigrants come over here. We're going to feed them. And we already know that uh, Big Brother don't do nothing for free. Yeah, yeah, everything comes with a cost. Join the Army and the Navy. Hoorah. Let me know how y'all feel about <laughs> the migrants joining the Army in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Comes to that video. And being an immigrant myself, coming here with my, with my mother, it was a very difficult process and it took years and years and years to get through these borders because these borders were very tight. Like the most facts that he just said in this whole video that stood out to me is that everything comes with a price. So what is the reason for them to let more immigrants in without having some type of agenda for them, without having some type of placement for them? There has to be something going on. You know, this is like the preparation for something bigger. And eventually, we'll definitely figure out what that is. All right, guys. So like I mentioned before, we're going to do a truth or trivia question. So the question is, based on schemes, what investigation claimed that vaccines administrated to infants were missing key antigens but included toxic chemicals? The multiple choice answers are A, infant watch, B, vaccine gate, C, baby care, or D, vaccine analysis so any information or comments that you guys have in regards to this subject definitely comment down below we always want to educate our family and our community you can put your answer down below and then we're going to review it at the end of this video all right guys let's get into the next video i really don't but i don't know if anybody else feels the way that i do or if i'm just crazy as shit but it's too much y'all it's like it's literally too much that's why I, I've been it wearing is. this uh, scarf on my head for the last month because I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to do it no more. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get the hell off this earth and never come back. I've been fucking tired since 2020. It seemed like ever since COVID happened and they shut the whole fucking world down, which that's another subject for another time. But you know, you got to be a powerful motherfucker to be able to shut the whole entire fucking world down and fuck everything up. <laughs> fuck it up more than it already is. But I feel like it's been a sh like a big ass shift and nobody noticed it. Like it's too much going on and I can't keep up no more and I'm tired of keeping up honestly. You got the fucking lady seeing shit on the airplane, seeing a person that ain't real. You got you got <sighs> fuck and then question guys is it just me or do shit seem really really weird what i mean by that is time is speeding up it don't feel like it's 24 hours in a day anymore food tastes fake as fuck and the weather is crazy as all outdoors in addition to that it's like people walking around like zombies is it just me yeah i think everybody's noticed that i don't know what's going on i think we're just um so programmed right now i mean come on now like all we do is go to work come home cook clean go to work cook clean 
you know, all we do is the same thing every single day over and over and over again. And I was just saying that I feel like it's like a factory, but outside with people, you know, it's like a conveyor belt of things that you need to, the parts you need to put together over and over and over again every single day. I think people are just like jaded and numb and almost like zombies at this point. So now I don't know if it's the lifestyle that we're all having to kind of encounter or if it's literally just programming and things like that. I'm sure it's a little bit of everything. But yeah, I'm definitely, I feel what she's saying. So y'all remember the story where the white girl, she was 19 years old, named Caitlin Reston, where she called a spiritual deity um, Papa Legba. Now, if any of y'all know a little bit about it, even if you watch American Horror Story, you know, you wouldn't call on him on your worst day. His depiction in American Horror Story is not the reality of what he does, but I think this goes um, without saying that you should not practice any kind of witchcraft if you are not properly introduced, I guess. So just a little background of Papa. Papa is like a spiritual god, um, and he it meets people at the crossroad. He is a symbol of communication, and um, he looks like a frail old man. A dog is also a symbol of him. But anywho, Caitlin decided to practice this allegedly, and many people were telling her not to. I believe one day she got upset with her girlfriend and decided to like cast some type of spell on her and it didn't work. There were like images of her and her little voodoo dolls and cults and all that stuff and she was saying that she was a Wiccan. But after she casted that spell um, towards her girlfriend, who I believe was black, I don't know, it backfired. She started seeing things and stating that she, she thinks she saw him and she was like tweeting these things and writing these things out for the public to see. But on April 19th, 2020, Caitlin would mysteriously drown in a bathtub and she leaves behind or left behind her daughter. Honestly, I don't even know what to say about this. There were many accounts where people who actually practiced what she was trying to do was saying that she probably met someone similar to Papa Legba in image. However, um, it was a worse spirit or spirit God. See, this is why I'm not playing. Um, no, ma'am. What do y'all think? Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I tried. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, I don't want to speak on anything in regards to her because obviously ended tragically for her and her family. But overall, I don't know her backgrounds. Um, I don't know what she practices. I'm not familiar with, with, with what's going on. But... What is your knowledge that you have behind that for summoning somebody like that? I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is the reason for her to do something like that? And why him? You know what I'm saying? Like, out of all the cultures in the world that she could have picked from, like, I'm just wondering why why she summoned him why did she come to him you know what is like her connection to him because at the end of the day whatever you try to do I feel like reflects back on you you're not just putting that person in that situation or whoever you're you wanting to do harm upon like you're also in the mix she took it like a whole step further because I know people do stuff that they see on tv and they think it's like cool and it's fun and this and that but like she was real specific with it she went all the way she went all the way like but yeah that's why I don't do that you guys don't be dabbling in, in no stuff that you have n no idea about which I don't know if she did or not but I'm just saying be careful I'm tell y'all they can read our minds you're gonna feel far more sane when I explain to y'all bluetooth technology is actually interfering with your daily life how many of you have gone to target and maybe stared at the 70 inch tv for a minute too long and then you go home later that day you pop on the grams and suddenly there it is 70 inch tv you're like it's it's meant to be, right? Like, how did they know to give me that targeted advertisement, right? Well, the truth is, is that in Target, there are these little Bluetooth low energy beacons, and they are listening and they are receiving it. So your Bluetooth has a unique identifier. Later, Target's going to go through through data brokers and figure out who that is, and that's how they're going to figure out how to target you later. But that's how you start to get those tag targeted advertisements. So Wait, y'all, did he just say Target? Like, they have those at Target? I thought this stuff was just on your phone. So they have this in Target? Like, where are these things located? I need, I'm trying to see this. I'm, I'm about to go to Target and see what's going on.
So either if it's Android or iPhone, it is getting this information and it is transmitting the raw information about everything your phone could hear during a given time. I don't trust Bluetooth because, you know, things like that happens to me on a daily basis to the point where it's not that I just talk about it with somebody, but actually just think it. And I did not discuss the subject with anybody else, but it pops up on TV like in commercial. So that's wild. A lot of the times, if I know that I'm not expecting any phone calls, I'll go ahead and put my phone on airplane mode. Um, Most of the time, maybe sleep with it on airplane mode. Like, I'm not trying to get any of those frequencies or anything like that. And my Bluetooth stays off most of the time unless I just need to use it for a specific reason. I was Diddy like in, I want to say, 1998. Then Diddy caught the radio station that she was working at and literally got her fired, told the told the radio station that you won't get no more music from us. You feel me? Me and my people, you won't get no more music from us if she ain't gone and she lost her job. I mean, that's the type of power that Diddy has being a gatekeeper of the industry. But what makes this situation so weird to me is, did y'all see how Wendy Williams looked in 1998? What's the matter with them? Oh. Who put that fat rock on your head? There is no fat rock. Nah, the other one, <laughs> the left one, the left hand. Anyway, to Ralph, is it time to go into another break? <laughs> is it time? <laughs> Big up to Brooklyn. Thanks for turning us on. I'm talking about video music box now. Give me the. I mean to tell me this lady with this beautiful. Somebody lying. Which makes me wonder, like, was this some type of punishment? Or was she replaced? Uh, there was a radio personality once upon a time. Her name was Wendy Williams. And uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. I remember when Cassie shaved half her head bald and we thought it was just a trend. Watch this video of Young Jock right quick. And jumped off the bar, came over and said, yo, yo Cassie, tomorrow, I want you to shave the side of your head. And I was like, I'm like what kind of request is that? <laughs> so I was looking at Cassie, I was like, well, I, I was like, you're not about to do that, are you? She said, well, I mean, whatever Sean wants, I'm going to do. I'm a savage. Whatever I want, I'm going to get. Whatever I want, I have to get. Yeah, the music industry is really crazy. Somebody as big as um Diddy, I feel like he would be safe because he's the one that gets everybody so I wouldn't think like he could be touched, but it seems like at the end of the day, everybody's a puppet. So I don't know if there's some type of big event that's going on right now where they need a bigger distraction. So they're using Diddy for, but at the same time with the reputation that he already has, this is not a surprise. We can have a really good personality, but if you don't have a strong character, that money can mess with your reality in regards to how powerful do you think that you might be. You also got to remember that there is a higher source. And at the end of the day, justice will be served. But yeah, that last clip at this point, I don't know. I feel like Diddy's like either Aries or Leo. If y'all know his birthday, comment it down below because he was wildin'. We look at their rockets. This is how they claim they get into outer space is these rockets. Their rockets never go straight up. Every single rocket launch from a government space agency, you'll notice, follows a parabolic curve. It goes up, it reaches a peak, but what they do is as the rocket starts coming back down, they make sure that it goes down over the ocean, out of the way of any curious observers. Anyone can see it coming back down to Earth asks, hey, how come the rocket's not going up anymore? Well, it's going around the curvature of the Earth, is what they tell us. So every single rocket, the reason that it follows a parabolic curve, they say, is because it's going around the curvature of the Earth. The, the real reason is they can't get up any higher than that. They tell us that the Earth is a sphere. They show us pictures of a sphere, of a circle. It's a perfect circle. And then they come out and they say, well, it's actually an oblate spheroid. Oh, what's that? Well, it's it's a sphere that's flattened at both poles, so it's more of an oval shape. It actually bulges out south of the equator, as well as being flattened at the poles. So it's more pear-shaped. So it's not actually a sphere. It's an it's oblate. And officially it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby's a good way. It's like pear-shaped. So now it's pear-shaped. So 
why are all of these official uh, NASA photos and videos showing perfect spheres when it's actually an oblate spheroid or a pear-shaped spheroid? They can't get their story straight. And the reason they keep changing it is that to fit the model, they have to change the shape of the Earth. South of the equator is larger than north of the equator because lines of longitude that just extend outwards, they don't contract back. So <laughs> they concede that in their pair model. They say, well, the side bulges out south of the equator. It's bigger south of the equator. Yeah, it is, because it's flat. But A pair? Listen. But instead of admitting that, they just, you know, make tweaks to their model as time goes on. They say that the ball Earth tilts back 23.5 degrees. That's another tweak they made because we can see Polaris, which is right over the North Pole, from 23.5 degrees south latitude. Shouldn't be able to see that on a ball. So they just tilt the Earth back and then they, okay, now you can see it. And so they come up with explanations in reverse like this. Damage control, reverse engineered explanations. I'm so freaking tired of these um flat earth videos like I'm so tired of them I don't want to talk about it I don't want to talk about it <sighs> we already know for example if you believe in the bible it says there's a firmament there I don't understand why everybody believes the whole bible but not that part and then they say well it was written a long time ago they weren't sure this and that and this and that um they weren't sure of what because they didn't say that's what so-and-so said or that's what so-and-so graphed or that's what so-and-so believed. That's how they said God created the earth. So, but yeah, anyways, on to the next video. This kid thinks that CERN blew the world up in 2008. Maybe that fucking kid is right. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transferred from form to form. But if there are an infinite number of universes, then there's 100% chance that this happened at least maybe in another universe, maybe not ours, then again, there's also an infinite chance that this is our universe. Joe Rogan and the world's smartest kids seem convinced that CERN is the epicenter of world-altering experiments. Maybe they're looking in the wrong direction. Like the true architects of reality-bending science are just toiling away, not in the spotlight of CERN, but in dark corners so secretive, even their existence is a state secret quantum reality hacking, consciousness transference, time manipulation, experiments that don't just bend time, but fold it, altering the past through the present, or universal simulation control. Maybe they're manipulating the parameters of our simulated universe. Tell me what you think in the comments. Where's the real Pandora's box, CERN or secret shadow labs? CERN is one of the most interesting topics to me. I definitely want to look into more about it. I hear stuff about it here and there, but I know there's so much more to it. And also when he spoke about um, the consciousness harvesting or transferring, that is so crazy. I know a lot of people say that they would never do that, but like if you think about it, it still sounds really dope. And like you cannot lie, that's something that is pretty amazing. And it will be kind of interesting to see in reality. I'm sure they have done it already, but I feel like it's still playing God and it's a little bit dangerous to really be getting into. So y'all know how Walmart's been mysteriously closing. This is an abandoned Walmart. Now what does this look like to y'all? This is an abandoned Walmart. Um, a closed down Walmart. What does it look like? So around my area, there's a whole bunch of uh, containers at Walmarts. And I was like, what are those for? And they've been sitting there for a while. You know, I'm like, is this like inventory where they're keeping extra stuff for the holidays? I've been keeping an eye on them to see if I see anybody going in and out of them. But I'm still there almost on a daily basis and I do not see any type of movement concerning those containers. If you guys work there or know anybody that works there, let us know what's going on. Maybe it's just something simple and, you know, I'm making a big deal about it. But yeah, it's definitely interesting because they've just been sitting there. If you want to wait and see if a side effect shows up, uh, that takes two years. So. Oh, it takes two years. Oh, OK. Thank you. Um, What? what y'all do y'all not see that they tell us this stuff right in front of our face right in front of our face like it takes two years why would he say two years 
why would he say two months, six months? It's a very specific number. And we're just sitting here like, oh, <laughs> get out of here. We got to look at stuff like that and take it seriously. On top of that, there is so much research that is available, you guys. It's all out there. It's not just these videos. You can go and look and read for yourself. You can pull up government websites, which of course, like, you know, I'm not really trusting that stuff. But at the same time, they have to tell us before they do something. So if you even go to the NASA website or CIA websites, anything like that, that stuff is already there. It's already available to us. I'm tired of people saying he's a reliable and trusted source and this big trusted person when because he has a lot of money. That means nothing. And then randomly, I believe it was yesterday or today, I come across front page stating, we don't know what's going on, but a lot, all of a sudden, a lot of people are passing away. This, this is bigger than COVID. We don't know what's happening. This is so strange. Really? Okay. Let's do the math. When the random deaths started happening, especially in younger people, people that are healthy and have absolutely no reason you know, for that to be happening to them. I think everybody that's here, y'all really feel me on that one. Um, You know, family members and friends that you can't even talk to about this stuff because it just doesn't connect. You know what I mean? It just doesn't click. They'll get there one day, but that's what we're here for, right? This lady just blew my mind with this video I'm about to play for y'all. I love her for making it, but when you watch it, you gotta keep these three things in mind. Look, number one, religious people say that God is up above in the sky, right? Keep that in mind. Number two, before religion came into play, every single civilization on our planet worshiped the sun as God. They wrote that the sun is the physical manifestation of God in this realm. Keep that in mind. Number three, right now, if you go look up images of Jesus in most of the pictures, he's gonna have the sun in the background. Majority of the time, it's right behind his head. Hey, babies, I'm back with a quick one right now. Mama got some shit I need to do today, but I want to talk to y'all something about this Sunday. A lot of y'all dressing up, putting your wigs on, and putting on your best Sunday outfits, and you're going into these houses of worship, and you're worshiping God today. Called the Son of God. You know, there was a time they used to call us the people of the Son. Then they said we were sun worshipers back in the day, but we wasn't worshiping no sun. You done took the, you capped it off and put an O, and now you got us all worshiping your sun. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the day, they told us that the body was the temple. That's your church and God living you. But now they want you to worship some God outside yourself, living up in the sky, sitting on the throne with a bunch of naked babies around it. <laughs> Y'all seen them pictures? They drew a God up there with all them babies with no clothes on, with no mama around. It makes you wonder. But let me ask you something, baby. Let me tell you, as long as you don't think God lives in you, and live outside you. They gotta harness all your spiritual power, baby. Them churches are harnessing sinners to pull all your energy in. And your pastors and your priests, they all went to them schools of theology supposed to be. Well, who taught them about God? Did they look like them? Who wrote the curriculum about all these organized religions that they both fed in? Got you bowing down to these symbols and they holidays. A lot of certain star systems and things. It's all spell work, baby. Do I believe the Bible? I believe there's a lot of truth in that book. But also some of us old girls know that book was used for a lot of spell casting. Full of astrology and numerology with your twelves and your threes and your sixes and your sevens. Mama gonna give you some breadcrumbs, but it's up for you babies to go ahead and do the homework. But I'm gonna ask you a question, all of y'all rocking the symbols of executions around your neck. Oops. Yeah, because when Jesus was hanging on that cross, Oops. they had a bow to the left of him. Y'all, the way she's calling people out, including me. <laughs> Oops. The right of him, both with, they was killing people that way symbol of execution so let me ask you something they would have killed that boy by hanging him 
Would you all be wearing nooses around your neck? Mmm. Mmm. Makes you wonder. Man, Whoa. shout out to Mama T. You gotta go check her page out. She has amazing content. And let her know Moses sent you. Level. Oh man, I really appreciate that video and I really appreciate her. That made me feel some type of way. Like she said, if they hung him, would you wear the little noose around your... Wow. Wow. That was deep. One of the main things that I have um, questions about in that video is there's a lot of contradictions that I feel like look like they're in the Bible because we are missing a lot of information. So a lot of pastors want to teach you that you cannot le read one verse. You have to read the whole chapter to get the full understanding and the full meaning and really get the knowledge of what the message is conveying. But if you are not reading the whole chapter and you are just reading the verse, isn't it as important as them taking books out of the Bible for us to get the full meaning of the Bible? And for the people that know, know that there are so many more books that were there. I don't even, I don't even know what number it was at this point, but the original Bible was created in Ethiopia. So books were taken out of that original Ethiopian Bible, a lot of them, almost more than half. So imagine how much information we're missing. So when those books were taken out, they were kind of filtered. And what we got now is translated versions of a few books that were already in there so now you're telling me that i can't read this verse i have to read the whole chapter to understand but the energy is not the same when we're talking about why you took out the rest of the books that have the rest of the meaning and probably make the bible make more sense and that is my understanding of it i don't know if they took it out for us to be a little bit more ignorant so that way we could have questions so that way we would have to go to church so that way we would have to rely on a specific type of religion or people in the church to get our information from instead of having all the knowledge the complete knowledge with the rest of the book the american people here ukraine is not a paragon of democracy this is a country that has banned 11 opposition parties. It has consolidated all media into one state TV media arm. That's not democratic. It has threatened not to hold elections this year unless the U.S. forks over more money. That is not democratic. More facts for you that you won't hear from the mainstream in either party or the mainstream media. Regions of Ukraine that are occupied by Russia right now in the Donbass, Luhansk, Donetsk. These are Russian-speaking regions that have not even been part of Ukraine since 2014, that other people probably couldn't name those provinces for you. Those Do you agree with what he is saying? Could this entire war be a scam? Could Ukraine not actually be democratic, or is this guy spewing up made-up stories? Mind you, this was filmed on November of this year, so it's pretty recent. TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. Those are the hard facts. And so to frame this as some kind of battle between good versus evil, don't buy it. And I'd like the likes of the uh, sharpest of the war hawks on Ukraine, Nikki Haley, to have some accountability and answer. Do you want to use U.S. taxpayer money to fund the banning of Christians? That is actually what's happening. They're using the Ukrainian Orthodox Church. They have banned them. The Ukrainian parliament just did this last week, supported by our dollars. And I think you owe it to the American people, Nikki, to at least this Mr. one Mr. Ramaswamy, thank you. That's time. At least Mr. Ramaswamy, thank you. Their banning of Christians. Mr. This is the... Oh my God, when I tell you guys the world is a stage, the world is a stage. These people are actors. Like, I hope y'all understand what's going on. And I can see how the people that don't understand what's going on, I also understand why. They do it to perfection. They do it to make it so believable. I don't want to discredit anything that is going on anywhere. For the people that are really struggling and going through things. But it is so dangerous to give out wrongful information. Y'all always want to do your own research. You can't believe every single body. People have opinions which are not facts. There is so much manipulation in this video. It is gaslighting. They are doing things and they're pointing fingers at other people to say like, these people are dangerous. These people are the bad guys. We're the good guys. Whole time, they are doing stuff under the table and behind the curtains. So the information that we are receiving is the information from our media. Now, remember, each country's media is completely different. Countries isolate 
themselves and give their citizens media and propaganda that they want them to believe. They will put out propaganda today that China is the bad guy and then they will put out propaganda tomorrow that China is the good guy and we will go back and forth believing in it because we do not do our own research. The research that is available out there is most likely propaganda. Now, what I think the U.S. does in my opinion is get into stuff that's none of their business while we're struggling with the resources that we have here. Mind you, this opinion is coming from somebody that is a foreigner, that is an immigrant from a third world country. So I understand how people suffer over there, but it just always seemed like some type of scam or some type of trickery when it comes to these wars. Where is the money really going? Have as many social problems as possible to distract. that people distra get distracted yeah. by, that people concentrate on, whether it's a, a pandemic, whether it's masks, vaccines, pride, trans movement, drag shows, sponsor drag shows for kids if you want people to get mad and want people to get distracted. Right, right. Sponsor Let them that. focus on that. Get, get yeah. people to think that it's a good idea to do that and, and watch, watch the outrage. You know, get people to think that the oceans are going to be boiling in five years. You know, right. Get get people to think that if we don't change it, like that was one of the things that Greta Thunberg said five years ago that we'll all be dead. In okay, five well, years. Well, it's five years later, yeah. and we're not all dead. So you definitely were wrong, and you're yeah. 16. So yeah. why are they flying you out to Ukraine? <laughs> like, yeah. what is going on? Yeah. So there's these so many of these fucking social distractions that are in our face all day long about everything. And I feel like sometimes that's what I feel like about Supreme Court rulings. We're going to take away Roe v. Wade. And everybody's like, what the fuck? What? Yeah. What? And that's another one. Yeah. And then that one becomes a thing that people identify as the most important problem that they have to solve. And while, while all this is going on, money's getting moved around. Decisions are getting made. Yeah. And it, it's a brilliant cover for wild shit. Yeah. Because all you have to do ever really is, a, is follow the money on anything. Yeah. And you see what's actually happening, and everything else is a distraction to that. So if you're feeling played right now, you should be, because division is the ultimate tactic. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a follow if you like the content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Ooh, if that is not the truth, division tactics. Oh, my gosh. This ish happens on such a regular daily basis that at this point, People are not even believing in it. People are really just believing these events happening. They know so much about our psychology and our emotions that they know exactly what our next move is going to be. And these people know what will be happening and what they're going to be doing so far ahead that probably just year, years and years and years and years ahead. And they know what they're doing. And these are the things that we need to be very aware of because it's very slick and it creeps up on us every single day. Everything that is going on TV is a distraction. There's probably not one fact that they post up there unless it's at their convenience or they need to use it for their advantage. Charlie warned us all. I mean, just think about it, okay? First, the stock market would go. Then the economy, boom! The dollar, boom, and then pandemonium in the streets, war, genocide, ba -ba 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 boom, boom, boom. Bullshit. Nobody could keep that big a secret, Charlie. Somebody blow the whistle. And every once in a while, some poor little sucker tries. Well, like these guys. Boom, boom. Every <laughs> one of these guys, dead, dead, dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's, that's Professor Myers. Well, he ran the Atlantis shuttle program why did you do know him yeah he helped me out with research on my book oh well that must have been before his ex whoa y'all i have never seen this before like what is this movie i want to watch it tonight if you guys know this movie comment down below because i'm trying to watch this asap what is it? oh yeah two months ago he was one of my most avid listeners and he had it all figured out everything the government was doing where and why even sent me a map. A map for what, Charlie? What's the map for? They're building spaceships, man. Traveler from the 
Hey, guess what? They're selling seats. Put me down for three. No guys like you, they don't have any chance. You'd have to be Bill Gates or Rupert Murdoch or some Russian billionaire or something. Keep it down. My kids are sleeping. Get them out of Yellowstone. So if Ellen. Oh, Yellowstone. Wow. Dang, that sounds like a conversation that me and my mom would have on a regular basis. And then I'm Charlie and she's the other guy where she's like, I'm worried about you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious. I want to watch that movie as soon as possible because that looks very interesting. LA couldn't get any creepier with all the problems of crime and homeless. I ran into this billboard on this lot. So this is a vacant lot for construction. And it says, live life deeper, 144 stories underground. You may never go outside again. It's so creepy. I'm wanting to know if this is real with this construction site right here. West Hollywood, Beverly Hills adjacent, a controlled access community, 24 seven security, residents only amenities, a new standard of sustainable living, but it's all underground live life deeper the world you might as well get an ankle bracelet if you're living there because a 24 hour 24 7 security underground you might not want to leave again i mean this is giving me like luxury house arrest first and only completely subterranean residences terrifying i feel like it's a horror movie it's so creepy listen quietly in my frustration last night yeah i hope that's i'm gonna say i hope that's not real but i mean that looks pretty real to me why do they take super creepy and super weird things and just make it look so like it's the next big thing? Like, you don't want to live here? What? How dare you? Um, after seeing the hundredth child burn to bits in Palestine, I decided to check out the location tag of Tel Aviv on Instagram just to see what the people of Israel were dealing with. Um, and the results were quite telling. <laughs> As you can see, they're hanging out, they're taking selfies, they're ordering sushi. Um, this is a photo from the beach. They're having little performances in boutique hotels. I was genuinely shocked by what I saw. And you can go look too. Go look at Tel Aviv's location right now um, and watch all the stories of people. It's really, really shocking to see it in comparison with what is coming out on the ground from Gaza, 40 miles away. And, you know, people will have you thinking that this is a war uh, between two equal parties, but this is, this is colonialism. You're looking at it right now. Everyone seems to be having a great time while there's a genocide happening 40 miles away from them. You know, I had a feeling about the situation um being how she explained it to be but like i said i don't want to be insensitive to to places where things really might be going on now she stated that she looked up these locations where these genocides are happening where, where it's just gruesome and terrifying and and it just looks like it's dangerous to not only be outside but even be in your home so to me this type of location would either look abandoned as in people have left or migrated to get up out of there so it would be just completely empty and just dark gloomy and lifeless or you would just see people there either posting videos of you know please help us or this is the tragic stuff that's going on here we want to we want to make you guys aware. We want to report to you guys. But it looks like when she put up the location of those exact same places, people are just chilling. People are in the pool. People are playing games. People are having drinks. It's sunny. It's beautiful. It does not look like they're terrified. It does not look like they're scared. And I hope that is really the reality of it. But that's one of those things that I tell you guys. We see what the U.S. government and the U.S. media and the propaganda people want us to see. We really don't know what's going on out there. And like I said, I pray that it's really like that and not what they tell us. Stay safe. Pay attention to what they're telling us to do. And uh, this will pass much faster if we all listen to what our smart people are telling us to do. And I mean the smart people. Bye. Exercise. Take care of yourself during this time. And I mean the smart people. Whoa, no. A 
Office of Sex Offender, Sentencing, Monitoring, Apprehending, Registering, and Tracking. Wow. S-M-A-R-T, smart people. Listen to what the smart people have to say. Wow. I have never seen that before, but that is super wild. Like I said, they say right in front of us. And the people that don't want to connect the dots, they will never connect the dots. But there's enough of us to understand what's really going on. And hopefully, seed by seed, puzzle piece by puzzle piece, we can get this information across the board and educate the people that want to be educated. Ellen really just said... This will go by faster if we do what they say. Everything will be smoother if we do what they say. Hmm, can you imagine that? All right, you guys, we are at the end of the video compilation. To wrap up the video, we are going to go over our truth or trivia question and answers. So here goes the question. What investigation claimed that vaccines administered to infants were missing key antigens but included toxic chemicals? One more time, that is what investigation claimed that vaccines administered to infants were missing key antigens but included toxic chemicals. Now for the answers, we have A, infant watch, B, vaccine gate, C, baby care, or D, vaccine analysis. The correct answer to this question is B, vaccine gate. If you guys have any information in regards to the subject, please comment down below. If you have any links, definitely hook us up with those. We would love to get any further information or even your opinions on the subject. It's very important that we have open conversations to really get to the bottom of this stuff and educate the community a little bit more. One more thing before we get out of here, I just want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to everybody that's joined us here today. Thank you for joining us on the very first reaction video. I hope you guys had a good time. I know I did. To make it official, subscribe to the channel to join the family and also hit that notification bell down below so you could be one of the very first ones to get notified every time a video is released also if you want to comment and like the video that will be a blessing but for now remember that everything is everything be good and do right and i'll see y'all in the next one